So Kenneth, as a career coach yourself, you have seen a lot of resumes and we tell our clients, customize your resume based on the jobs, include accomplishment statement, numbers, percentages. But is there any other way, especially for international students or new immigrants, they are new to the country, they don't know how to do that. So besides those, how can job seeker customize their resumes? Well, you want to have that good branding statement, that good st statement at the top about what you do. Mm. And someone from an international, again, if you're fluent in multiple languages, that is definitely something to put at the top. Mm -hmm. it's, it's things like that. Um, there are certain things you definitely want to think about from a skills perspective, having, let's say, a bunch of skills that are right after each other, because a recruiter looks at a resume in a certain way. They're yeah. going to look at the branding statement. They're going to look at skills, the experience to some extent. Definitely put a link to your LinkedIn URL there. I highly yes. recommend that. Mm -hmm. If you have a portfolio of things, put a link to that there too. Um, because that's the, that's the thing that people do a lot of. And if you're available for remote opportunities, put that down there. Because yeah. again, they're not mind readers. You want to make it as easy as possible. Yeah, these days remote working is also something that they work. So you're cost so the put summary of summary of qualification or uh, well, the heading might be. Instead of summary of qualifications, just say project manager, business mm -hmm. analyst, whatever it is. Okay. And then the branding statement will be, it's to tell me about yourself, but but think about it from an engagement and engaging. Like, what can I, what can, what is your past experience going to leverage for what I can do for you? Okay. And being fluent in certain languages, maybe. Again, um, talk about some of your specific, some people actually have a list of accomplishments as well after the skills. These yeah. are some of my top accomplishments. There is no one right way to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because know, we know that recruiters have it maybe between six and seven seconds just, just yeah. to scan. So if you have those keywords that's related to the job, I think that you, you will pass. Uh, the don't want to do, take your, I see this all the time. So I'm going to start with the girl. You got to take street addresses off. No one does street addresses anymore. Mm, okay. And people, I still, I still see references upon request. All right, you know what? That was from another time. And yeah, I, and it's a little thing, also like your email address. You've got to have a good email address. Yeah, professional it a, email address. It can't be a Yahoo or an AOL or a Hotmail or whatever it is. I recommend diplomatically create a separate job search email address just to do this. Yeah. Those are great tips, Ken. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Ken. Yeah.